My name is Walter. I was born and raised in Huntington Park and moved to Venice with my mom when I was seven. I eventually left LA 20 years later and became a New York Times writer. And I traveled all over the world. I wanted to learn how people outside of LA lived, what made them different, what made them the same. I was flying in airplanes, the same ones I used to look up at the sky and dream about as a kid in Southeast LA. As I grew and changed, LA, I heard, was also changing. Friends were being forced out of the homes that they had lived in for years. So much happened while I was gone. Now I know this may sound privileged, but traveling really started to wear me out. And I really began to miss my friends and my family. I miss buying white tees and gold chains at the Slots of Swap Meet. I miss hopping on the blue line on Florence and taking it downtown. I miss that one dude on the train, you know, the guy who wears a hustler hat, who sells speakers, snacks, and bootleg iPhone chargers that nobody ever buys. I missed him. It all became too much to bear. I had to come back home. Every time I leave this neighborhood, I feel like an outsider and like someone who doesn't belong. All the rumors that I've heard, I'm seeing, are now true. The cork in Mid-City, cha-cha-cha in East Hollywood, La Fiesta Brava in Venice. But I'm back now, in LA. Something happened to you while I was gone. I try to go back to Venice every Sunday, where I lived as a teenager. And the Venice that I knew, full of black and brown people, beautiful black and brown people, has now changed. And you know what? Damn. Everywhere you turn, there are tech bros. Every place I traveled to, I praised you. I showed you love. And I spoke so highly of you, LA. You were supposed to withstand gentrification. But instead, you embraced it. Your neighborhoods don't really look like they did anymore. There's a lot more white people and less people who look like me here. You're really flawed. You're not a perfect city. There's so many things that you have to work on, like how you treat your homeless, access, access to public transportation, providing more affordable housing, how we treat people of color in this city. I'll stop here, but I could go on. I know it's complicated, but there's nowhere else I'd rather be. And I'm not the only one who feels this way about you, because even though you sometimes feel like a stranger to me, I still really, really love you. And I want to show everyone why. Most of my life I've lived here in Compton and I never knew this was here. Probably get to 800, if not over 1,000 parrots here within the next 10 minutes. I was like, how do you dress? And he was like, you know, like a casual gangster. And I was like... <laughs> and I said, mijo, look, look, those cowboys, they are black cowboys. I want everyone to see who you are, to me. This is California Love, and I'm Walter. Mm -hmm.